This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Interesting. April 26th, it's Saturday. Miyazawa is reading books in there again today. Hey. Tomoya san, ire coffee. Whoops. Ire mashou ka? Nah, I'm fine. Endo nasarazu tomo in desu yo. In the end, she closes her book and stands up to make my drink. I've heard about you from people. I talk to her back as she takes a cup out of the drawer. Eh? They said you're doing philanthropic, yeah, philanthropic work for the delinquents. A brief silence passes between us, filled with only the sounds of hot water flowing into the cup. You may say that, but that's the only way your classmates can look at it. She truly believes in not judging people based on how they look. That roughness you see is the wall that keeps them separated from normal people. I know. Just look at their attitude toward you. But even so, the room is filled with the aroma of the coffee. Darn it! Keep, I always interrupt people. A cup is placed before me, along with a spoon and a saucer. I know it's not my place to say this to you, but don't you think it would be better to set a standard for friends? It's that kind of school, after all. And not people? Yep, true. Aww. You're a real sweetheart, aren't you? That's the reason people say you're doing philanthropic work. Then, what do you gain from doing that? You don't necessarily have to gain something when you're doing things. Like... そうですね。一つあげるなら、人の思いを学べています。どうしたら、人が嬉しい気持ちになれるのか、とか、どんな時に寂しい気持ちになるのか、とか、それは。Yep, school can only teach you so much. But what are you going to do from there? You've made someone happy. Great. What's next? Does it mean anything if you yourself don't become happy? It's true. Serving others is a great way of... Gaining true happiness, actually, not just short-term pleasure. You reap what you sow. Well, it's your freedom to believe in anything. At some point, it's become my turn to be questioned. No idea. There are things you just can never know. Ah, yeah. Sorry. I take a sip from the cup. Yeah, it's good. Hmm? Yeah. Maybe she's trying to reconcile. She takes out the book and flips the pages. <laughs> I'm getting ready to sass. Like this. 
それでですね強くまっすぐ強くまっすぐ強くまっすぐって心の中で3回唱えてください。Strong and straight forward, strong and straight forward, strong and straight forward. Hi, get go this. What does it do? It do this, ne. She turns the next page. Liu Mats ni kik so des. I fall out of my chair. I don't need a spell like that. My joints are still strong and straight. Sumimase. <laughs> Can you please show me how to do it after you've read the effect? So, this is it. Here, show to cut out that you cut the disc. No, thanks. What kind of spells are these? Weird ones. Okazaki, oh my. Well, hello to you, too. As soon as I enter the classroom, Sunahara closes in on me while shouting out my name. What's up? Yep, I did. Turn for what? Oh boy, this ain't gonna go well. And here it is, it's after school now. It's dangerous to let you be alone with her. Don't flatter yourself. Who is this friend you talk about? Sorry, I still don't think of you as a friend. Wow! Tonikaguda! Oh boy. Whatever. Is she even your type? That's not how that works. Yeah, right. In your case, it's going to be an evolutionary jump up. Of course not. All right, do your best, Sunohara. As long as I'm by his side, there's no way he's going to succeed, so I'm not worried. Of course. Who do you think I am? He opens the door to the reference room. Cheese. Tomoya-san and Sunohara-san, いらっしゃいませ. Hey. Hey,目は黙ってろってろ. It's just a greeting. Coffee. Oh boy, after whispering into my ear, he pushes my shoulder, signaling me to sit down. Then he turns his eyes to Miyazawa, who is still preparing our drinks. That's actually surprisingly decent of you. With that said, he walks over to her. Well, we know you can, we just feel bad for making you do it all the time. The instant Miyazawa raises her hand about to pick up a cup. With a roar, Sunohara jumps forward like a baseball player, ready to slide toward home plate, and reaches his hand out to the cup. Beep. Something just made an electronic sound. It. Turns out Miyazawa's hand has pushed the fill button on the electric kettle out of momentum. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> Pull your hand out! Why are you trying to bear it? Kick. I run to Sunohara and kick him from the side. <laughs> he groans as he falls, like a sad sea lion. Go cool your head. Yeah, I figured something like that was going to happen. <laughs> Sunohara returns after cooling his burned hand with tap water. No, that, that was on him. Miyazawa bows down deeply. You don't have to apologize to him. It was 100% his fault. So, so. 
僕が悪いね今のは大丈夫ですかうん平気でも空のカップに湯を注ぐとはなコーヒーカップは湯を入れて温めておくんですははは気が利くなあゆきねちゃんはって本当に大丈夫ですか Oh, oh, he gets beat up all the time. Don't worry about it. He'd survive even if you cut his head off. Sonohara pulls me in close by the collar and whispers, Are you still going to do it? A stubborn guy he is. <laughs> That sounds great. Your words are all messed up, dumbass. <laughs> She's like, oh, it's funny when you call him dumbass. Aww. <laughs> We basically are, though. <laughs> It seems like Sunohara is still waiting for a chance. Oh, really? Miyazawa stands up from her chair. Chance! <laughs> Chance! <laughs> Sonohara chases after her. He leans forward after a few steps, about to fall down. Obviously, he's doing it on purpose. He must be intending to use the fall to bring Miyazawa down along with him. Ah! But she suddenly squats down. Failing to catch her back, Sunohara is stumbling for real this time. In his attempt to stop the fall, he desperately cleans onto the electric kettle in front of him. Beep! Something just make it, it made an electronic sound. But this time it's not his hand, but his head that's directly under the spout of the kettle. As a result, glug, glug, glug. This happens a lot. <laughs> no one wants such a thing. Kick. Again, I run to Sunohara and kick him from the side. <laughs> and again, he's falling down like a sad sea lion. Go cool your head. A lot of red lines are running down your face. Some sort of fashion? You didn't do anything. <laughs> Like I said, it's 100% his fault. Is this what her just gonna be Sunohara gets doused in hot, scalding water like 50 times? The root? Probably. It's about time you gave up. Still doing it? Yeah, your face too. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> do we look like that to you? <laughs> This is the worst. You don't have to tell me. Sunohara and I return to our seats. Yeah, that's the kind of guy Sunohara is. Haha, I'm the first time I've ever had a chance. I'm going to tell you about the family. I'm going to tell you about the coffee. I'm going to tell you about the coffee. Haha, haha, haha. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but what he said just now sounds like a line from a foreign drama. Q laugh track. He's really going straight on this time. Alright, that, that was kind of a smooth line, I gotta admit. Stop with that annoying tone, will you? <laughs> I 
Okay, he's gone full foreigner mode. Sunohara springs up from his chair, puts his hands on the table, and stretches forward. Then he stares at Yukine's face with his serious eyes. Is he just gonna flat out go for, go for it right now? She looks back at him, still as innocently as ever. Are we, are we gonna put pour water on him? Bam! A sound like that of something having just exploded echoes through the room. Oh, Yukine! It's the sound of someone opening the window! Oh. Then comes an overly masculine voice. Must be one of Miyazawa's friends. A man in a slovenly unfamiliar uniform raises one of his legs high up to step onto the window frame, and then he lets himself in without saying another word. Ah, Tajima-san. Konnichiwa. Oh, Yukine. Eh? What's that? <laughs> That's not me! <laughs> He's now standing next to Sunohara. For comparison, anything you can think of on his body is at least one size bigger than Sunohara's. <laughs> Sunohara's still frozen in his proposing pose. Now, if you look closely, his body's shaking slightly. It's very nice. <laughs> oh, this just got real awkward. <laughs> Always beware of anyone named man. Clank, clank, clank. The table starts to shake violently. Oh, well, it's none of your business. This is bad. Sunohara may not make it out of this in one piece. Sunohara! Gotta save his ass now. Your love is already ripped apart. Why do I get the feeling that it's like all of these guys are seeing Yukine just because they like her? Yeah. Uh, for like, um, three days? <laughs> it had the opposite effect. My bad, Sonora, I may have poured oil into the fire. Having his shoulders gripped from behind, Sonora is looking at me with sad, sad eyes. What? Wait, am I the only one who thinks that that was... Wait, 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 Hold on. Why did it just do that? Am I the only one who thinks... That we are friends. Can you hear me? Can you hear what I'm saying? I can't hear anything you're saying. Sunohara is gone. The empty chair only reminds me more and more of him. Gone are the days we fooled around laughing with each other. I wonder why I can only remember your crying face now. Why can't I remember any of your happy expressions? Is it because you've only done I've only done horrible things to you? But even though it was always I was always like that, I've always goose Tilda. Crap, I'm hungry. Guess I'll go have some Gudan on my way home. Don't stop at the most important part. What, you're still alive? I thought I was going to die for real. Let's celebrate your safe return. Go treat me to some Goyudan. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Even the... Why, why did it just skip all of that all of a sudden? I don't get it. Even though I don't quite understand how it works, but isn't that the wonder of our friendship? Huh? So it doesn't? Your efforts would have been in vain anyways. Yeah, there are idiots out there who think people have a crush on them with just that. I'm not saying that it was just you, just one of my friends. Well, don't be suppressed, amigo. I'll leave that to your imagination. It may or may not be you. Well, we'll know the answer tomorrow anyway. Because I'm going to tell other guys that one of my friends is a misunderstanding idiot and that he jumped ahead to confess his love in vain. I wonder if they'll figure out who I'm talking about. 
牛丼でも食って帰るっすか、先輩。Ooh, nice idea. Um, yeah, I don't. Gyudon. Gyudon is a bowl of rice topped with beef. It is popular among financially limited students due to its affordable price and decent taste. That sounds good. Ooh, nice idea. So what I tried to do is when the text got really small in that dialogue, I tried to zoom in with my trackpad, and apparently that caused it to start skipping text that I hadn't seen before. So don't touch the trackpad, apparently. A new week has arrived, and with it another Monday. So what? Weekday or weekend? It doesn't make that much of a difference to me. All I do is waste my breath on random chatter with Sunohara anyway. However, there is a certain place in school where I can waste my time much more peacefully than usual. It's probably the thing I'm most thankful for in this school. Yo! Tomoya-san, いらっしゃいませ. Kyo-wa-o-hitori-desu-ka? Yeah, that dumbass Sunohara is all depressed today. Ochi-kondeるんですか? Nara, naosara kite hoshikatta desu ne. Aww. Koko de, ocha demo nonde, yukkuri shite itadakereba. I don't know. I guess so. Well, if only he could get along better with your friends. She closes her book and she stands up. So I'm wondering if like all of her friends actually come visit her because they actually like are good friends, or if because they kind of have the hots for her. I'm thinking it's the latter. And that might cause her to have a bit of a breakdown. Have you had lunch? No, I haven't had lunch yet. Aww. Say. Hi. What is this place again? What did you say you would fix for me? How are you going to do that? Why is there cookware here? Is that so? Sure, please. Guess I'll just have to go with the flow. Clatter. The combined sounds of spoon and dish echo in the room. It's terrific. Here I am, a guy eating pilaf with a spoon in front of a girl reading a book in the reference room. This must be quite an odd sight. Thanks for the food. No, it was very good. You don't have to bend over backward for me. Have you thought of opening a real cafe, taking money and all? I wonder about that. My eyes wander to the scenery outside the window. There isn't a single cloud in the sky. I let myself daze off for a while. The laughter of a group of female students faintly makes its way to my ears. It must be from the hallway. Seriously, it's so peaceful here. It must be thanks to the atmosphere around her that I can feel like this even after all things happened here. I can sort of understand why those friends of hers keep coming to meet her. Whenever I say something, she just looks at me and smiles. Even with this petulant face of mine. Even if all I said were pointless complaints, I know she just keeps smiling. As I'm about to leave, she hands me a package wrapped in a handkerchief. What's this? Got it. I'll give it to him. With that said, she takes out the usual book and flips the pages. Okay. Sunohara. Huh? Stand up. Stand up straight. Just do it. He pushes his chair back, and he stands up reluctantly. Now stand still. 
Stand absolutely still, no matter what happens. <laughs> Here goes. I widen my legs and stoop down halfway to the ground. With the stance of a sumo wrestler who's just finished his stamping ritual, I put my hand on Sunara's chest. <sighs> After that, I close my eyes tightly and I take in a big breath. Then... Spirit Ball Injection! Spirit Ball Injection! Spirit Ball Injection! I scream the phrase out loud. <clears throat> That's it. I close my legs and I straighten up. Is that how you treat others, goodwill bastard? Whoa! whoa. <laughs> the whole screen shook. I grab him by the neck and I flail him around. I shouldn't have done that for you! <laughs> it's a freaking spell! How could you not get that? Huh? Obviously, she said it's a spell to cheer you up. She told me to do exactly what she did. She made lunch for me, so I couldn't turn her down. Damn. I guess so. Well, it all leaked out after I flailed you around, though. Don't search around the floor as if you're looking for your glasses. How am I supposed to do that? And what the heck is Spirit Ball, anyway? I did, but even I don't know what it is. I just somehow did, but that doesn't mean I know. There's nothing left. I just wonder what the, all the other students think about us, like, yelling about this. Yeah, it felt good as hell. <laughs> the teacher was here? Or did he just materialize? Huh? I finally realized that the whole class is staring at us. That's why they're facing away from the camera in this BG. You're one ridiculously embarrassing guy, you know? Well, it takes one to know one. You know? Yeah, and one more thing. Sitting down on my chair, I throw the package Miyazawa handed me to Sunohara. He unwraps the package. There's a small lunchbox inside. I glance over as he opens the box. Sunohara is so moved he's crying. Aww. He probably hasn't had that in a very long time. No, I made it with my legs. <laughs> That's one of the best voices. <laughs> Just kidding. Yep, it was made by Miyazawa. I'll tell her you went... <laughs> I'll tell her you went... After eating it. <laughs> How do you think I could make it like that? ゆきねちゃんがつくってくれたのか。やっぱりゆきねちゃんっていい子だな。自分の株を上げるために付き合おうとしてた自分が馬鹿みたいな。いや、ゆ、ゆ、ゆ、ゆ、ゆ、
Oh, really? Yeah, your face was all red before. <laughs> Aw, that cute little blush. <laughs> Bam! Suddenly my ears pick up a huge sound coming from the window. Deja vu? Are you going to run away, Sunohara? Yeah, good on ya. Yeah. You're pretty fired up now, aren't you? Yo, Yukine. This is a different guy. Hanichiwa, Oh my gosh, literally it's all guys seeing her. How many are there? How many guys are there? <laughs> wow. How do you afford this? <laughs> Looks like you're going to have many new friends today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> While we're talking, the sound of the door opening makes us turn around. A teacher sticks his head inside the room. Oh, crap! <laughs> I turn back to Miyazawa. But there is... <laughs> Only her standing there. Our eyes turn into dots. Where did they go? <laughs> Having said that, he slams the door shut and walks away. <laughs> the guys crawl out from under the tables, one after another. Her friends always take the window. In the end, we can only sit in the corner watching the commotion caused by the crowd. Looking at the normal girl smiling along with the rowdy bunch, it's such a mysterious sight to behold. I feel like coming... Uh, yeah, we can continue a little bit more. I feel like coming here has become my daily ritual. It's so quiet today. I look around the room. Miyazawa is nowhere to be found. Oi, Miyazawa! And I came here empty-handed, hoping she would make me lunch. It seems she's not just hiding somewhere, she really isn't here. I guess it can't be helped. I turn around, considering going to the cafeteria, but suddenly that seems like too much of a bother. Guess I'll make something myself. It shouldn't be too hard, since all the cookware and spices are here. I walk over to the stand where Miyazawa usually makes her dishes. There's a white container close to my feet. I see, she's got a cooler box here. The inside is stuffed with frozen food, so I just have to heat this in a frying pan. He's learning to cook! Yeah! The air carries the sound of rice being fried throughout the room. The fire's kind of weak, though. Well, it's just a portable stove. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. The door behind me suddenly opens. <sighs> oh, Yukine! Welcome home! I'm taking my revenge for what she did before by greeting her as if she were in a close relationship. <laughs> she shows me a smile, somewhat ticklishly. You're late today. I see, so you haven't had lunch yet, right? I'm making enough for two. Fried rice, okay? Mmm. Sitting at opposite ends of the table, we pick up our spoons and start digging into the dishes. All I did was warm it up, though. 
<laughs> I love how cheesy this game gets sometimes, where it's like, the food was made with love, so it's very delicious. I actually really like that. Oh, that! I poured my entire stock in, so that has to be it. <laughs> Aww. Then it should taste even better if I do this, right? I scoop up some fried rice with my spoon and then reach out and hold it close to Miyazawa's mouth. <sighs> Come on, open wide! <sighs> Munch. The instant she takes my spoon in her mouth, rattle. <laughs> Flump. <laughs> Due to his vigorous entry method, momentum takes him sliding to the floor. With a sinfully angelic smile, Miyazawa looks down and greets him. Unable to say a word, Sunhara rises up from the floor. Yep. Oh. Nah, what I did just now didn't have any special meaning. I mean it, right, Miyazawa? <laughs> no, you really can't, but you should. Yep, absolutely. Ah, uh, Flump. Next to Sunohara is sliding and down onto the floor again. Stop doing that, will you? The dirt is getting into our food. Oh my gosh, really? Sunohara is such a kid. Jeez. <laughs> He's just dumb, though. But he is dumb. That aside, how long are you going to sleep there? Why don't you do a spell for him? She takes the usual book out of her pocket. きてのはい。できましたかできたよ。Aww, that's a nice spell. Thud. Now he's doing a somersault. <laughs> Are you happy, Sunohara? I think that's a great spell, says Miyazawa regretfully. Seriously, though. Miyazawa did say something about learning how to make people happy, but she's naturally thick-headed. Well, that means her charisma isn't faked at least, but I wonder if I should tell her. Nah, I guess she's fine the way she is. I come to that conclusion when I see how quickly the smile has returned to her face. Then comes another day. Well... You know what? I think we're going to have to save that for next week when we stream more Clanad. That seems like a pretty good stopping point. Yep, Yukane. We are officially on the Yukane route. Alrighty. That's going to do it for this stream. Thanks everyone who joined in for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.